Today, we will explore together the 10 best places that you must visit in Poland. So, without further ado, let's begin. Number 1. Malborg Castle Built in the 13th century by the Knights of the Teutonic Order, this is the largest castle in the world measured by land area and hence the largest brick building in Europe. It took 230 years to be built and comprises of three castles. This Gothic fortress was named after the Virgin Mary and is well known by the German name of Marienburg. Today, this fortified monastery serves as a museum, with many of its original rooms perfectly preserved. It is a must-see attraction for anyone with an interest in the history and culture of Poland. The architecture and sculpture of the Renaissance and Baroque periods were formed under Italian influence. Even though this fantastic historic place was destroyed during World War II, it was meticulously restored in the 19th and early 20th centuries using the detailed documentation prepared by the early conservators. This castle also has the honor to be named a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 1997. Number 2. Krakow Krakow is one of Poland's oldest cities and one of the few lucky ones to have escaped the destruction of World War II that befell other Polish cities. Its old town still retains its medieval architecture. The Wawel Castle and the historic district of Kazimierz are both designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The city is home to around 40 urban parks, including 19th century Planty Park, which covers an area of almost 21 hectares and forms a green ring around the city center. Then there is the Lazek Volski Forest, which offers hiking and biking trails just minutes from the city center. If you want to go into real depth of the city's history, then you should visit the Rynik Underground Museum. However, most of the famous attractions are located outside the city and are popular day trip destinations. Some of the most popular include the salt mine Velitska, which is the world's oldest functioning mine, and the Auschwitz Birkenau concentration camps also attract visitors. Number 3. The Tatra Mountains in National Park. If you are looking for some physical adventure while observing the beauty of nature, then this is the place to go. Although most mountain ranges are in Slovakia, the Tatra Mountains and National Park serve as a natural boundary between the two countries. Because there are no longer any borders between EU countries, hiking across them is now simple. Over 270 kilometers of hiking routes may be found on the park's Polish side. Rysis, Poland's highest peak, is found in the Polish Tatras. It's the highest peak in either country that can be climbed without a park guide at 2,500 meters. The park also has around 600 caves, including the limestone cave system. Waterfalls, streams, and mountain lakes abound throughout the Tatras. The largest lake in the park is Morski Oko, and it can only be reached after a two-hour journey through hills and a thick grove of Swiss pines deep within the park. Number 4. Rochlov Although saying the name of the city might be a bit of a mouthful, but it is a beautiful place to visit. Rochlov was built in the medieval period, and it covers several islands and maintains gorgeous bridges and stunning architecture. The 13th century main market square, which houses St. Elizabeth's Church and the Old Town Hall, is Rochlov's oldest district. The Ponte Daus Museum, with multimedia exhibitions dedicated to Polish customs, is just a few meters away. During the summer, visitors can travel around the city on open-top historic buses. On foot, look for Rochlov's dwarves. Around 350 miniature bronze statues of elves can be found hidden around corners, on sidewalks, and lampposts across the city. Suppose you want to learn about the history of the city. In that case, you can always visit the Lubomirski Museum of the Rochlov City Museum, which provides detailed information about the past of Rochlov. Number 5. Bielowieża Forest If you have had enough of the city tours and want to venture into nature, then a visit to Bielowieża Forest is the right decision for you. This forest is the largest and last remnant of Europe's ancient forests, and around 800 European bison call this forest their home.
This biodiverse forest has a variety of trees, including 500-year-old oaks, and it supports bison, deer, wolf, lynx, and even golden eagles. However, this forest isn't just occupied by animals. There are villages scattered throughout that represent Poles, Belarusians, Ukrainians, and several other cultures. So when you guys visit, go to see the national park inside the forest. But do take a guide as the protected areas can only be visited with them. The European Bison Reserve is a must-see, and if you are into physical activities, then there are numerous bike trails throughout the forest. Number 6. Warsaw After World War II, this city was left in ruins, but the death and destruction did not hold back its residents. The moment the war ended, the city went through a massive reconstruction effort. The most fantastic thing is that they used old designs, which means the Baroque and Renaissance merchant houses you see today are carbon copies of the originals. Despite losses in the war, the city is still home to around 60 museums. In addition to art, they have even added on more unusual elements like the Museum of Posters, one of neon, and even of caricature. If you like paintings, go to the National Museums, which feature art from Adolf Hitler's private collection. While there aren't as many parks in Warsaw as there are in Krakow, Lezhenki Palace and its formal gardens more than make up for it. This 18th century castle has a planetarium, an outdoor theater, pavilions, and much more. Man, did these guys know how to rebuild in style. Number 7. Gdańsk Best known for being the birthplace of Poland's solidarity movement, Gdańsk is a beautiful port city on the Baltic coast. Here, you should definitely see the old parts of the city, known as the Royal Route. The most interesting structures here include the city gates, the prison tower, and several merchant houses, St. Mary's, the world's biggest brick church, and the star-shaped Wiswowiszcze Fortress and the Nowe Port Lighthouse are all located in Gdańsk. However, the crowning glory is the Neptune Fountain, which was built in the 17th century and now serves as a symbol of the city. After you are done roaming around this city, take a pleasure boat cruise upriver and drink beer at one of the many beer gardens along the docks. Number 8. Zalipia Village The folksy floral paintings that cover practically every building in this little village of Zalipia are its most notable feature. This custom dates back over a century when local women used a mixture of powdered dye and milk to create beautiful artwork on unclean surfaces. Today, almost every house, barn, fence, and even St. Joseph's Church, as well as a variety of inside areas, including walls and furniture, are painted in this style. The House of the Women Painters is possibly the most beautiful of the many painted structures. Felicje Cherilova, a Zalipia-born painter from the early 20th century, lived in the building, which has now been turned into a folk museum. Her entire home, inside and out, is covered in flower paintings. The museum depicts the history of the custom as well as how the flowers are painted, with visitors having the opportunity to participate in the process. Number 9. Sopot Beach the opportunity to dip your toes into the several kilometers of fine silver sand that make up the glistening, lovely Sopot Beach is just a short distance from Gdansk. Its wooden pier, the longest in Europe, provides a direct route into the vast yawning sea. A few lungfuls of Sopot's bright, clear air will revitalize you. Harkening back to the town's origins as a spa town that has since been turned into an elegant coastal village. Sycamore, oak, willow, and chestnut trees flow out of the streets and strew the beach, which is spooned from behind by a guardian dune and blazingly blushed with reams of wild roses strewn among tall grasses. If the natural beauty has filled you up, continue on the coastal walk beyond the sandy mound to find a variety of inviting wooden bars eager to sweep you off your feet and fuel your next adventure. Number 10. Zamek Shash, the Owl Mountain's deep, lush woodland hides a fortress that appears to be woven from legends. The blushing, dusk-drenched exterior of Zamek Shash, perched on the tallest rock around, betrays the deadly machinations formerly hatched beneath. Originally intended to serve as Hitler's headquarters, Nazis took over the fortress during World War II, who forced their prisoners to construct a vast subterranean network beneath the castle grounds that stretched throughout the Owl Mountains. This underground labyrinth was part of Project Reich, Giant, 
a great building project whose details baffled scholars to this day, but many conspiracies surround the facts. Though the tunnels and chambers have their appeal, the structure on the top is also worth exploring. Combining Gothic, Baroque, and neoclassical elements, the castle is breathtaking from the inside out. What's more, the palm house contained inside the castle contains over 250 species of plants. The castle and surrounding forest are not just attractive for their appearance and charm, they also attract treasure hunters from all over the globe as they try to find and dig up hidden Nazi gold. So, if you want to please both your eyes and your pockets, then you know where to go. Well, that is all for today's video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Do leave us a comment or a like if you did enjoy the video. Consider subscribing. And before you start packing for your trip, consider looking at some of my other videos too. Thanks for watching.